Hi everyone, I am Akinola and I'm here to make a boost in God. As we all know, life has its challenges. And in my years, I've had to deal with a series of them. But I want to take you to a particular account of a situation that I had to deal with. One that, wow, it was like a curveball being thrown my way. And one thing I decided to do when I purposed in my heart is that I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to knock that cold ball out of the park. They won't be able to find that ball. <laughs> oh my. And it's important that we make proclamations like that. It's important that we say things like that when we're going through our situations because according to the word of God we overcome by the blood of the lamb by the word of our testimony and the testimony isn't just after the fact and after we've overcome but it is what you say and what you do during your testing this testing was something i needed to heal from something that could affect um, my future interactions with persons and i knew that i had to and so i purpose in my heart that i refuse to be broken and that I am going to be healed. And ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to say that I am healed. And I am healed not because of my own accord. I am healed because of Jesus Christ. I'm healed because of Almighty God. I'm healed because I allowed, because I allowed His Word to transform my life. I allowed His Word to, 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 to take control of my mind. Because just in case you don't know, there's where the real battle is in your mind. <clears throat> And once you can 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 put the raid on your thoughts, then that's the step. And I allow the word of God to transform my life. And I've seen every day, every single day of my life, even through that very situation where God was ever present and he continues to be present in my life. It is because of almighty God that I was able to overcome, that I was able to conquer, that I was able to turn what was bitter, into better and ladies and gentlemen i give god thanks and praise because he's that same god that has worked me through that situation just as how he was a protector and a light for the israelites when they left egypt just as he was there with the three hebrew boys in the fire they were kneeling bonded praising their bonds even fell off and they praised god he's that same god of joseph who went through a series of bad situations in his life. And you know what? He was able to come out victorious. The second in command in Egypt. From prison to the palace. And he's that same God when Silas and Paul were in prison, shackled. And they prayed and they praised God. And the earthquake came and the door flew open and their shackles fell off them. He's that same God. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, far and wide, I am happy that every day I can make a boast in God and I encourage you, find something every day to make a boast in God. God loves us. His love is perfect and I continue to prove that every day, even through my situations. Oh my gosh, the amount of situations I have a real thing to boast about God in and of people. However, I chose to share this one and I really pray it's an encouragement to you that God is alive, he is real and I will continue to make a boast in him. Love you guys.